Hello world. So this is the first computer that I coded on. In the beginning, my biggest challenge was not having access to a computer. The first line of code I wrote was bouncing ball. It would bounce around the screen, hit the edges, and then come back again. I think the first one was like a, a to-do list. It was a to-do list. And I remember the first time I did it when it worked, and it was like magical. I can do anything with code. Anything I can think about, I can do it. In Beirut, we experience power outages every day. So let me see if I can just do a simple algorithm that can provide the electricity cut of time. It shouldn't cost life to give life. But if we compress all these health guidelines into small movies? I am one person that saw a problem and created a solution to stop or assist a woman in domestic violence. What we wanted, what we needed, didn't exist. So at some point, you just say, OK, well, let's do it ourselves. Let's make an app. Well, when I first start an app, I have to have a plan. We start with that little glimmer, that seed of a new, fresh idea. There's this fear of code, like it's so hard or it's inaccessible, but actually it's not. Someone who doesn't even know code at all, if they really studied some simple Swift code, they would probably be able to understand it. Anything's possible, and it all comes from that first step. Launching the app was a big moment, actually. I told everyone about it. I'm like, download my app, it's on the App Store. I was dancing. I called all my girlfriends that I cried to. It's such a crazy feeling because it's so many emotions, so many wishes, so many dreams. I always tell my students, do you have Beirut electricity? My son made it, <laughs> he built it. And the girls, uh, is he single? <laughs> By the end of 2016, one million women will have a safe birth due to the Safe Delivery app. If people come together in public spaces, it creates a kind of happiness and it creates a kind of like healing effect for the soul. Don't touch my coat! Dear Kira, young people like you are tomorrow's leaders. You inspire me and give me tremendous hope for the future. Michelle and I wish you all the best. Sincerely, Barack Obama. These tools are something that we desperately need when trying to change the world. I think the more people who can learn to code, learn to build apps, the more problems can be solved. I feel like I'm creating stuff that can actually change the way people live, which is super awesome. I want to be this amazing coder, this off the chain senior developer where everybody comes to me and it's like, can you fix this? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, and I go in there, I'll just type up the code and blah, blah, blah. Damn, damn, damn. And like, wow, you can do this. Yay. <laughs>